Clutch Powers was a total loser. Originally, people just saw him as this guy from a really old LEGO movie, and somehow he's in Ninjago. Flash forward about a few years, and right now he's his own Ninjago character, and he's somehow in the middle of one of the biggest Ninjago theories and storylines that is yet to be revealed. So this weird adventure, who kind of came out of nowhere, is somehow in the middle of this whole Nauticon returning thing. And he's been seen with the teapot of Tyron in so many different cases, as well as Nauticon just being referenced a lot of times from Season 11. So today we're going to go through all the wishes that Clutch Powers could have made, assuming that the Sweat into the Goldie short, the one for Legacy 10th Anniversary, that one is connected to the story, let's assume that as well as just Nauticons coming back in general. So with all that being said, let's get right into the wishes. So one of Clutch Power's wishes we know for sure. It was in the Sweat Into the Goldie short, and he wished that his movie would be more famous and more people would actually like his four and a half hour terrible movie. And Nauticon seemed to poof in off camera, which is what we didn't see. So let's say that that was one of the wishes. So that's already one. The second wish, I want to say that the way Clutch Powers got the Storm Amulet was the second wish to how he actually got it in the first place. Because in the island, he almost attempted to steal the real one until Nia took it back to its rightful place. And I checked the scene and it looks like the amulet at that time is still glowing, which means Nia took back the right amulet and gave Chief Mamatis the real Storm Amulet back. So that means Clutch Powers had to steal it after they went to Ninjago City. And there's no way Clutch Powers could actually make it onto the island by himself again. I mean, even the ninja found it pretty hard. I don't really see Clutch Powers doing it by himself again. Also keeping in mind that there are literally keepers who are titled after their job, keepers of the amulet. So there's no way he can actually steal it from them unless something absolutely crazy happened. So then the only other way that would have happened is that Clutch Powers wished for the Storm Amulet accidentally and he did that because he wanted that Explorer of the Year award. Maybe he intentionally wished for the Storm Amulet, maybe he didn't, but I'm pretty sure that could have been a wish over there. So that is the second wish I think Clutch Powers did. The third wish is what I'm not really too sure about. Looking at Nauticon's track record, he wants the third wish for any person to make it all go away so that the person will get stuck in the teapot of Tyron. So I'm assuming that Clutch Power still has one more wish. Unless you guys in the comment section, you guys have a third wish that I just haven't spotted yet. I'd really love to see that, but I think the third wish will be saved for whatever season Nauticon actually returns in and wherever this whole Vengestone plot goes on. It's all pretty crazy to think about, and tell me what you think about the other two wishes. Is there any flaws with that, and do you think it could be changed to any other ones? That is all for this video, looking at Clutch Power's three wishes. It was pretty fun to go through all of these and also think about what the third one could be. Thank you for watching, and as usual, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.